Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and I've done it again. I have no idea where the car came from, but once again I reversed into the space and the space grey apple looking type BMW aerodynamically designed is parked. I mean, I never used to have this problem because it never parked there. And now he parks there. And I just, I'm beginning to question whether it's all just a figment of my imagination and this BMW just appears out of nowhere as soon as I arrive in the car park. Maybe there's like some subterranean world going on in Poynton. I don't know. It's raining again. And that sound could be the dust men. Because I did just have to drive past them. It was one of those things where I'm pretty sure other people would have thought I was, you know, driving dangerously. But I was just like, do you know what? I'm doing it. I'm making a move. <sighs> also today I've discovered that if I want to beat the traffic and arrive at work in the 20 minutes it should take from my house to here, then what I have to do is leave the house two hours before work begins. Some might say, Charlie, that's much too early. And I agree. But here's the thing. I woke up at four o'clock after having three hours worth of sleep. And I could not go back to sleep because of all those thoughts running around in my head that I was trying to put together and sort out. And even then, some of them weren't even like... There were thoughts about television shows and how television shows could have gone differently if such and such had happened. I was like, I don't need to be thinking about this at four o'clock in the morning. And then I latched on to the idea of something else that I'm not go I was going to mention in the video and then just decided not to because I was thinking about something that might never happen. And then I was, sorry, I've just seen that I've got a text message. Um, anyway the text message is related to work because the person I work with, my colleague, if you will, had a rather rambunctious Mother's Day and as such has swapped today's morning, Mr Magpie. Not sure whether I should be saying that. Maybe she's completely poorly and has just decided to tell me that she had a good Mother's Day. I don't know. I sent my mother a text saying Happy Mother's Day because I... I'm just that great. I did plan on the whole card sort of thing, but I'm trying to save up my money for a new computer. Um, that was the other thing. Curry's rang me. I don't want you to make any repairs to my computer unless you ring me first. So they rang me after they made a repair to my computer, so that's cost me £44. But I told them all, I just wanted to know whether it was fixable, because if it was fixable and I could do it cheaply, I would have tried to do it myself, if that makes any sense. I'd already... I've already spent 130 quid on this thing. Um, I'm wearing the hat today. Basically, it's not because I've not washed my hair. I washed my hair today. It's about the only thing I have done this morning. And then I got to work and I was like, should I take the hat off? And I was like, no, I kind of like looking like this um, cross between a middle-aged hip-hop star and just... An everyday skelly. This was one of those mornings when I did consider going across the road and purchasing a Costa coffee and didn't. And I didn't for the simple reason that I don't have that kind of money. I am trying to save. I have been doing that horrible, shameless self-promotion thing this week just to try and acquire a few more funds. Um, which has been great, and I am extremely grateful for to all of you who have um, been to my website or onto Amazon this week and purchased copies of the book 
so that's a little bit of extra money towards my computer and towards my rent so as I say incredibly grateful um yeah maybe I should go back or maybe I should think about Mother's Day I was going to take my mother out for Mother's Day this Wednesday um but now I'm supposed to be having my nephew my brother's supposed to be bringing him down from Northumberland for a few days and leaving him with us for like a mini break for a four-year-old and so I'm supposed to have him Wednesday, my dad's having him on Thursday, my sister's having him on Friday, his other granddad's having him on Saturday, and if there's really bad snow where my brother is currently, then I will be having him probably for another few days. It's great. The man whose BMW I didn't realise was here has just got into his office. The lights have gone on and he's stood at the window. And I am questioning just whether he's watching me you know, having some weird fetish, or whether he's just making sure I didn't damage his car. I also question whether he's actually one of the people who I used to see when I went into Costa, because I was going in there a fair amount, as you can tell. I might have gr grown mildly addicted, and in that moment where I just took a breath, I realised that I forgot the coffee that I wanted to bring to work with me, and that's a shame. That's a real shame, because I was looking forward to that. It's the Daweg Burt's Hazelnut Coffee. My mum went and got herself a caramel one, which she won't drink, and I imagine will get drunk at some point, but it's just not the same. Oh, I do like a hazelnut coffee. Oh, uh, well. Is there some way that I should make this book relate to this book, relate this video to books at all? Uh, I don't think so. But I'll go through what I did yesterday. Yesterday... I made two videos, one of which you won't be seeing for a fair amount of time, I should say. Then I planned to write the entire day and didn't actually write until 11 o'clock at night when I wrote for half an hour and completely zonked out. I also read some more of The Little Stranger that I'm hoping to read today and tomorrow and finish. It's a rather dense book to read, I've found, in that Sarah Waters writes incredibly well. I think she's got the voice perfectly, and it's just that it's like wading through treacle. Um, it's very a slow, measured tone that I am appreciating in the book somewhat, but it does mean that I'm finding myself unable to rush through it. And maybe that was the author's intention. If so, it worked. And so I planned to finish that yesterday. But because of the slow thing, I'm not going to be finishing it until tomorrow. I caught up with the archers. I watched some YouTube videos myself. And then I went and watched Steve Partridge's live stream. And that was an experience. It was seeing a lot of booktubers that I hear talk about one another all come together and just have this rather stupendous chat, really. Um, it's apparently going to be taking place on a weekly basis, so that's something to do now that Dancing on Ice is finished. <laughs> I say that like I watched that show. I didn't watch it. I only know who the winner is because of Twitter. Uh, I kept waiting to see if anyone fell. Did anyone fall? I don't know. Uh. Did I mention it's raining? Some the, On the way here, I kept thinking that I could do with a boat. Just a boat. Because the car, like... <sighs> The roads were roads that you couldn't reach the speed limits on, and yet there were cars behind me getting extremely close, yet there were sensible people in front of me who weren't touching the speed limit for the reason that the roads were quite, you know, they had quite a lot of water on them. But then I got this nice Vauxhall behind me who just kept getting much too close to me, and all I had to kept, keep thinking was what my brother and my driving instructor told me. It's a limit, not a target. Don't stop your car. Don't get out and attack the person with an umbrella. You aren't Britney Spears because you have much too much hair. 
and you're the only person in work today. And that got me through, as well as a Lissy album and a mint that I stole off my father. Anyway, how did you spend your Sundays? What are you reading? And what do you think of this weather? Are you in a different part of the world and you're getting to experience extraordinary weather of your own? Please feel free to tell me in the comments below because as we know, the British only care about the weather. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, that is all.